Hello there, Karelian. Today we're going to have a look at hex color, and it's a fantastic little macro that uh, solves a lot of problems for people who are building web components using CorelDRAW. Now, when I select a, a shape in CorelDRAW, I've just got a, a background uh, rectangle there. It immediately shows the hex value. Now, if I want to change that color, I can obviously use the regular palette, and the hex value will update in real time. I can also double-click on the swatch there, choose an RGB value, hit OK, and it'll go to that value. If you already know the hex number that you need, you can just simply type that in, such as CCCC44, and then hit Enter, and then it'll update onto your screen. And uh, basically over here we have an area for outline colors. Now, we've selected black in our CorelDRAW palette, but it shows up as an oddball hex color. Now, the reason for that is that I have color management enabled. And a tip that you need to know when building web components in CorelDRAW is to disable color management. And I have an icon up on my uh, menu bar here called Calibrate Colors. Uh, this You can find it in your options. By disengaging it, it shows you uh, the real hex values and the real RGB values behind the scenes there. So if I was to choose different shades of green, for example, let's make that another shade like that, and we'll give it the outline here something like that. Uh, when I select a shape, obviously that you can see the hex values right away. And um, that's basically all you need. I mean, you can type in any hex value you need. You can find out what the hex values are of any given shape. You can double click to go in and edit a color artistically without worrying about the hex values if you want. And then you'll have that number right away at your disposal. And you also have the ability to go back through the list and choose some recently used colors from um, from a pick list there and uh, there you go